Well, today we're going to be talking about The Lightning Thief. It's just the first book in a series of books by Rick Reardon. He's the author. And the whole series is about a kid named Percy Jackson and the Olympians. If you know anything about Greek mythology, you know what an Olympian is. It's a god. It's a mythical god. They weren't real. They were like uh, superheroes back in Greek mythology. And this Percy Jackson, uh, he's, he's a kid. What is he, 10 or 11? Mm -hmm. And he has some magical powers just like these mythical Olympians. And they have these great adventures. So we're going to be talking about this for the next couple of programs. Right. So because he has those powers, he is not like other kids. Mm -mm. He's different from other kids. And by the age of 12, he has been kicked out of many schools, Ooh. six schools to be exact, yeah. in six years. <laughs> so I guess he gets kicked out of a school every year because he's so different because he's not like the other kids. Now, if you get kicked out of some place, that means they don't want you there anymore. Mm -mm. Maybe if you go to a restaurant and you're too loud and you're bothering people, they might kick you out of there. They'll say, get I'm out. sorry, sir, but you know, we will have to ask you to leave. Yeah, they'll say it in a polite way. But if you're really bad, they might say, get out of here. Well, he was kicked out because he was causing some troubles, and we'll soon find out what those are. But first, we're going to take a look at Kicked Out. It's our sentence for you. Let's listen to our skit. Sentence for you. Kick out. Uh, why are you eating my pizza? I'm kicking you out. But I haven't eaten anything today. Please don't take it away. And why are you wearing my sweater? Give it back to me. Uh, but it's so cold in here. Please don't take it away. If you take anything without asking first, I'm going to kick you out. Okay, I'm sorry. May I borrow a sweater and have some pizza, please? Huh, too late. I'm kicking you out. Huh? Wait a minute. It's my house. It's you who should be kicked out. <laughs> so I guess he's having trouble as a kid in school because yeah. he's so different. He's been kicked out of six schools in six years. Wow. Maybe next year he'll be kicked out of the seventh school. Who knows? <laughs> Most recently he was kicked out of school because his math teacher turned into a monster and attacked him. Ooh. Interesting. So yeah. the math teacher or the teacher of mathematics actually turned into a monster <laughs> and attacked him. So if you attack someone, that means you go after them because you want to hurt them, Ooh. maybe even kill them. Yeah, you use a lot of force. Maybe you hit them, you use weapons against them, you try to really hurt them or kill them. Well, this monster, who was the math teacher, tried to attack him. Now, none of his classmates actually saw this happen. So they thought, he's making this up. He's telling a story, which just means someone's lying. Well, Percy's mom believes her son. She knows he is honest. Right, so he has a vivid imagination, but she believes him. She says she can take him to a special summer camp where he'll be safe. So I guess he won't be safe if he's in those schools because the teachers will turn into monsters and attack him. Yeah. And also maybe his classmates won't like him so mm -hmm. much because he's so different. So Percy's mother says, well, don't worry, son. I'm going to take you to a special summer camp. 
A summer camp is a place you go during the summertime. If you're young, some summer camps allow you to stay there, right? Uh -huh. Maybe for a week or something. Some summer camps only last a day or something like that. And you might learn some skills like outdoor skills, hiking or, or water skiing or things like that. Yeah, they can be really fun. Well, on their way to this special summer camp, Percy and his mom are attacked again, this time by a beast. A beast is another word that's very similar to monster. It's kind of a scary creature. You're not really sure what it is. Well, it was a bloodthirsty beast. Now, usually if you're thirsty, you want to drink some water, right? Well, this beast wanted to drink their blood. Ooh, right, and this beast had turned out to be a minotaur, which is a mythical beast, a creature from Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. So if it's mythical, that means it comes from myths or these old fantasy stories that different countries have. This particular monster is a minotaur, which is half person, half bull. And this minotaur, uh, minotaur I believe, was inside the maze, the labyrinth yeah. or something, mm -hmm. and Theseus had to go in there and kill him. Yeah, because minotaur like to eat kids, young guys Ugh. and young ladies. Ugh. Well, this guy attacked Percy and his mom, and Percy had read about this minotaur in ancient Greek stories, in Greek mythology, so he knew who the beast was. He only just barely escapes alive. Now, to talk about someone who is alive, you're talking about someone who's living, someone who's not dead. So, he does escape alive, but tragically, his mother's killed. Now, if you say something is tragic or tragically happens, it means it's very sad, and usually it involves death. Mm-hmm, that's right. So, for example, sometimes in the news we hear about a celebrity dying tragically in mm -hmm. some kind of accident. So I guess Percy won't have a mother from now on. Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of our explanation about the first part of our article. It's time now to listen to our Chinese teacher.